WP Drama 2024. Here we are. This is a difficult topic to discuss. As you probably know, for the past eight weeks, it has been very rocky and chaotic for WordPress and for its community for many reasons. Uh, and it's hard to talk about in a video because the details can be often confusing or messy or complicated. And uh, there's a lot of strong opinions and heightened emotions. And it could be tricky also because certain people are getting banned from once public places and forums where we would talk about these things. And so um, I want to just take a moment here to just step back from that, recognize that it's been chaotic. In your public feeds, like in mine, you're probably seeing mudslinging and strong opinions and thinking out loud. And hopefully you're also having some very mature and careful, nuanced conversation in your DMs. Uh, on the live Canvas Discord, I've had some of the best discussions that I've had about this. And it has genuinely helped me broaden my perspectives. Where I personally draw the line and where you do and what your conclusions are, you know, they might not be the same. But the inescapable fact is that we are in a situation whether we like it or not. For this video, I want to set aside the messy details at the heart of this debacle, and I am going to do my best to set aside any irritation I feel with those whose words and actions pour gasoline on a fire. Today, I want to recognize that while those details are important, they are just specifics, and I want to look at a greater problem or a greater thing that we can grapple with today, which is contingency planning. As people who manage and develop websites, we have a responsibility to show our stakeholders and clients that we've done our due diligence and that we have options no matter what problem faces a website that we are working on. Going through this process over the last couple of days of like writing this script and thinking through options and contingency plans has really crystallized for me how Live Canvas is just giving yourself the best foundation of options when you're working in WordPress. This video will only lightly touch on the technical execution of some of these ideas, but we're going to focus on mindset, strategy, and the options themselves. At the time of the recording, for context, uh, we just had the automatic versus WP Engine trial begin this week. And so as we begin to think about this, let's first define what we're talking about. Contingency planning refers to the process of preparing for unexpected events, emergencies, or disruptions. Um, this is a definition that I have found helpful. Uh, there's four parts to it. Number one, proactive preparation, anticipating the potential risks, mitigation strategies for reducing the impact of the worst case scenarios, a response framework to provide a clear set of instructions in response, and a recovery plan to get operations back to normal. A typical website contingency plan will include things like your offsite backups, a process for doing hot fixes, your administrative emergency contacts. And usually this will be a response to something like hacking or a technical failure. So these are kind of like the problem solving go-tos for your tech stack. But what about for the trust stack of your platform itself? That's a term I just made up as I think through the way that WordPress is set up. So we have a charitable foundation. We've got the .org repos. There's a community. And there is a complicated individual, a person who feels single-handed ownership over all of this, while it's an open source product, but also tied very closely to his for-profit corporation. So it's kind of complicated, and it is important to understand at some level, and to have at least a rough plan of what to do if something in that stack fails, and perhaps to even define what a failure would be. Since this is the Live Canvas YouTube channel, I'm going to start by talking about the unique benefits you get from this tool in terms of just having so many more options to react with. I'm assuming that most people watching this already have a Live Canvas website that they're developing a plan B for, but perhaps you're also about to build your next WordPress site and are looking to set yourself up for the best success. Option number one, working with HTML. Live Canvas is based on open standards, and at its heart, it's helping you to manage just plain, beautiful HTML. Other page builders use proprietary markup that is basically impossible to move out of the system. So in effect, you end up either stuck using that tool or having to do a bunch of rework to make any changes. Live Canvas just saves 
plain HTML to your database, making it super portable. You can move it to other systems quite easily. An implication of having a live Canvas page in WordPress is that there's actually very little processing going on with the server to prepare the HTML for the browser. You can actually disable the Live Canvas plugin after you've made a page, and it's basically the same. If anyone wants to see this, leave a comment below. We'll make a video about it. Most page builders have their own proprietary CSS and JavaScript, but Live Canvas by default is using Bootstrap, one of the most used and trusted front-end frameworks. Here's how to export your HTML. When you're crafting a page with Live Canvas, there's actually an option right here in this options menu to download this page as HTML. This is gonna get your bundled CSS and it's gonna get all your content into a static file. So here's that static index.html file. This is totally decoupled from WordPress. This is just an all-in-one file that is so easy to send. You could send it to a colleague. You could put it on a server. It's completely detached from WordPress. So you can see how powerful this is. You could imagine that if you had like a one-page website, you could just run WordPress locally, export these kind of files, and just host the static resource. Option number two, a similar CMS. So Live Canvas has really set you up well to go from WordPress to static sites. But did you know that there's another CMS that Live Canvas is compatible with? If you're scared of WordPress, check out Classic Press. Here we are back in my demo. If I hit exit, surprise, this isn't WordPress. This is Classic Press. It's actually running inside local WP. That was a bit of a surprise for me. And it works just like WordPress does. I have only one plugin installed, that's Live Canvas. And I mean, I know this is on my local, but this is fast. And hopefully your web host already supports this. If you wanna learn more about Classic Press, you can find it at classicpress.net. Classic Press is essentially WordPress without Gutenberg. In 2018, a contingent of developers felt that adding Gutenberg was a step too far, but also a sign that WordPress was going in a direction they didn't want to see it go. So they created a fork. If you've been building on WordPress since 2018, you might be surprised how familiar it is and how well it works with your tools, but you have to test that out. So far, we've successfully tested it with Live Canvas and it works beautifully. Option number three, a different tech stack. Live Canvas can be a launch board to static sites. It can help you pivot to classic press, but it can also be a very helpful stepping stone to a totally different tech stack. If the previous options aren't appealing, you can actually keep that database and rebuild your website in Laravel, vanilla PHP. Heck, some people have even done this in Ruby. Because the WordPress database isn't proprietary, it's actually very versatile, and Live Canvas has just put plain HTML into it. The beauty of starting in WordPress is that there are so many well-documented paths to other solutions. Because Live Canvas allows you to develop in WordPress without that lock-in, you're essentially giving yourself this foundation to pivot and build on other technologies. There's no escaping that this is a tumultuous time in WordPress history, and some are speculating that the legal process could take years to come to conclusion. So for me personally, every WordPress site that I am going to be starting in the foreseeable future will be built on Live Canvas. These are interesting days, and I am choosing to be optimistic. While these threats and the drama feels new to us, these problems have always been there, just dormant. As developers and website maintainers, we have had to become wise about technical threats. And now it's a time for us to become just as wise about political threats. Just thinking through a trust stack can be a tool to help us think more clearly about the contingency plans that we want to set up for any unexpected thing that could happen. A reminder of survival basics. Whatever your contingency plan is, there's a few things we should all do. One, if you don't have an uptime monitor set up on your website, that's a good, safe first step. Check out Uptime Monitor or Manage WP. If you know of another one, please leave it in the comments. Next, have a backup workflow in place. You wanna have regular backups and also to have them mirrored off of your server. And of course, you should begin to experiment with what plan B you would want to use if some kind of catastrophic event did happen. So that might be experimenting with classic press, developing static sites, experimenting with your databases, and just to see how long does it take to spool up your plan B. Finally, and most importantly, share what you're learning. Helping one another and sharing our experiences is so powerful. And in fact, 
The most valuable thing about WordPress isn't the platform, it isn't the code, but it's us, the community. So let's continue to build things out in the open.